them again. Yeah, and it's my shout. Oh. Uh, two pints, please, Mr. Walker. Oh, it's funny, though, isn't it? What? Well, tell me some of your troubles. Makes them seem a bit less. Yeah, well, no man is an island. The poet said that, not me, so don't argue. Said that, did he? Yeah. Uh, two pints, please, Mr. Walker. Well, he must have been married then. Anyway, thanks very much for listening. You must be sick and tired of hearing about me and Irma and babies. Oh, belt up. Just remember your loyalties next time when Val locks me out in a sharp northeaster. Hey, Mr. Walker, the camels are coming. What's happened to the flipping water hole? I heard your first time, lad. Just give me a minute, will you? The butler did it. <laughs> you what? Me and our kid, we saw the film, didn't we? Oh, I. You know, it's a funny thing. There's lads down at the university yonder that can read writing that's been in jars for 2,000 years. Get away. And I can't find out if my six homes have won from a paper that was printed less than an hour ago. Yeah, who am I looking for? The lads. Right, what's it worth to me if they've won? Four quid to me, a pint each for you for aiding and abetting. Right. Fine, our own kid. Uh, Are you sure? Yeah, two, oh. three. Hello. Walker. Well, did she enjoy it? Oh, aye, she enjoyed it all right. Uh, the match like. Uh... Well, where have you put her? Oh, don't tell me she's in the showers uh, asking for autographs. Uh, you tell him. Hey, no, that's your job. Yes, but you're better at it than me. It's none of my business. I know, but... Hey, one of you tell me whatever it is. Hey, she's not had an accident, has she? Well, not exactly, no. All right, then where is she? Well, you see, Uncle Jack, a, a funny thing happened to me, Auntie Annie, on the way home from the football match tonight. Hey, it's your first time, isn't it? What? Your first time. I always know. Tell them you lost your memory. I beg your pardon. Oh, I got away with pounds of stuff in the early days with that tale. Constable, how much longer am I going to be detained here? Sergeant Dobson will be down in a minute, madam. You're going about it the wrong road, love. This lady isn't with me. Watch Maggie Monks. <laughs> Here, 49. Tell your gaffer to get his finger out. We're not all got Bobby's jobs. You'll learn. Oh, I see. Didn't know we had Lady Docker with us tonight. Had to put my corsets on. Now then, Mrs. M. Monk, suspected shoplifting, using abusive language in a public place, telling a police officer who's a... <clears throat> Here, was that you, was it? Certainly not. Eh? This is Mrs. A. Walker, Sarge. L. Johnson and G. Naylor. Right, what have you lot been doing then? Morris dancing? Yes, all, right, all right, all right, all right. Now then, broadly. Fighting in the street, Sarge. What, all three of them? Aye. Defending one's right of human freedom is not the same as fighting. No. You have heard of Eleanor Roosevelt? If she cuts up railway seats going to away matches with you, she'll no doubt be on the file. Flippinek is there again. Who? A councillor, sir. What councillor? They were with Mrs. Walker. Well, shut him up before I start getting irritated. But he's a councillor, sir. I don't care if he's Herman's flipping hermit. Tell him this is a cop shot, not a double-decker boss, and if he rings that bell once more, I'll have him in for disturbing the peace. Now then. Over to Barrington Dolby. How's it going, mate? Leave that bell alone, will you? Well, I thought you'd be out with your little crystals today. Well, uh, what about it, mate? What's going in there? Sergeant Dobson's talking to him now. Well, I tell you what, while you're at it, I'll go in there and do my bit, shall I, mate? No, mate. Why not, mate? I've got my pension to think of. And I thought you were a mate. Sergeant, I did not, I repeat, not throw a rattle at a shop window because of a disagreement with a referee. Well, she told us she did. I yeah. was being attacked. She attacked oh, us. yes. Yeah. I what, don't both know of you on the run? I think she was having some kind of a fit I or I she went all pop-eyed and staring, you know. A bit like she is now. <laughs> right now, then. What have you got to say about all this, madam? Only, Sergeant, that there is no point in pursuing the matter any further. You don't think so? No, you are aware, I think, that I was a candidate for local municipal government. I believe you did mention that. Yes. 
Twice. And you might also be interested to know that I am not without connections in the Civic Trust. Oh. So I do not think there is any more to say. No? Except that there will, of course, be a letter to my MP by the first post tomorrow morning. And now, if you would oblige me by giving me back my handbag. Oh, this is your handbag, is it? It is. Are you quite sure about that? Of course. Well, uh, you might like to mention this to your MP while you're at it. I think you'd better tell me about it first, don't you? Eh? Chestnuts. You what? Chestnuts roasting. That's what it always brings back to me, sitting here like this, and popping off like cannonballs, cos I forgot to put holes in them. <laughs> oh, I? I were only a slip of a girl. But at times, when I think you still are. No. Not anymore. With me, it's always been all made bread. Homemade? Aye. In tins in front of fire. I reckon that's the smell I shall take with me to my grave. Aye, <laughs> it's a lost artist bread making. You speak for yourself, Wally Tanner. There are some things you never forget how to do. Well, let's have a bit of light on something, mm. shall we? Oh, hello, Dennis, lad. Grandad, assemble guests. I've just been telling them all what a grand lad you are. Getting this nice fire all going for oh, us. Oh, it's all part of the service. And feel free, Grandad, to invite your friends round for a chat any time it comes over you. Didn't I tell you? There's no point in having three fires burning, is there? No, that's true. Tea, everybody, just to get your jaws lubricated again? Well, I wouldn't say no. Right. I must say, it's very heartening to find you here tonight, of all nights. Oh? Them as now tells to do is probably at the Rovers be now. Uh, get in the front seat waiting for Black Mariah. What Black Mariah? Oh, don't tell me you don't know. No what? Blimey, where have you been? 1914? Annie Walker's just been knocked off for disturbing the peace outside Main Road this afternoon. You know, that makes you liable for slander, I suppose. Honest, she's down at the station now, having her particulars taken. Ooh. Hey, it's never got this time, has it? Oh, I must be getting off. And where are you off to, Albert Tatlock, as if I didn't know? Oh, there's a meeting for the over-sixties in half an hour, I've just remembered. Oh, I? Oh, we now fancy me nearly forgetting the over-sixties. Fancy. Uh, I'll see you later. Come on, look. They were sitting here, enjoying themselves, nattering and reminiscing and... Toasting the fish. That's best quality coal, is that? Do I have to spell it out for you? Eh? Hey, you young'uns. You think if you give us a cup of tea and a bun, we're at the gates of paradise. Well, we might not all be M appeals, but there's more to life than that, even if you have half a toenail in the grave. Oh, I can't win, can I? I thought I'd make you all happy. Excitement, lad, excitement. You're too old to get your own. You're in a mile to watch somebody else's. Oh. See, well, don't let me keep you, then. Oh, I can get malicious gothic eight days in the week, but three cups of tea ain't so frequent. And if you don't get that kettle off, you'll end up with a black bottom. Yeah, hey, mate, mate, mate. Hey, hey, hey. What? The copper in there's mate. I'm sergeant. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Her sarge. Sergeant. Oh, sorry, sergeant. Now, can you think that she is a bird who'd fight with yubs? Uh, is she the kind of bird who took toilet rolls at goalkeeper? No! No, but she still had one handbag. I know where she got it from, too. Ah, uh, they can always explain that, mate. Hey, you do realise, of course, that I'm on the council, don't you? It has been mentioned. I was playing snooker with Tiny last week. Tiny? Tiny Radcliffe, B Division. Nice lad, you know. Got him a couple of cup final tickets last year. An old mate of mine is, you know. Another mate? Could be chief constable one year, this fellow, you know. He's very clever, very understanding. Oh, uh, that's the trouble, isn't it? What? I'm not, and I'll never be chief constable, neither. And maybe that's why. Mm. Huh. Leave her with me. She'll come to no harm, he said. Oh, you've heard, have you? Ah, oh, not two hours gone, eh? And she lands up in prison. Well, what are they doing with you? Well, they've taken the thumb screws off and they're going to give it another couple of turns on the rack now. Well, so long as it's not the Chinese water torture, she never could stand a dripping tap. Hey, now do I get a bit of attention here? Thump that. No, right. no, 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 let me. Oh, look, who the heck do you think you are, the hunchback of Notre Dame? Meet Mr. Annie Walker. Oh, what do you want, then? Oh, just one thing, officer. What's that? If I play my cards right, is there any chance of you keeping her in? <laughs> Can't let you out of my sight for two minutes, can I? Oh, I thought I'd never see the light of day again. Oh, Jack the shame. I'm a criminal. Ah. Yeah, well, it's 
an ill wind, isn't it? Like Mrs. Sharple said. Ina Sharple? Yeah, when we was talking about you. Oh, you was talking about me, was she? That's nice. Oh, well, like about you and losing the baby and that, you know. Oh, did you show me birth certificate and tell her about me wooden leg? What does she mean, do you think? What? About an ill wind. Oh, well, um, I think she meant that uh, now you wasn't having a baby like it, it'd uh, give you another chance. Another chance? Yeah, to enjoy yourselves. It would have stopped your gallop a bit, wouldn't it? Babies is always boss, you know. Yes, I suppose that's one way of looking at it. I mean, take me and our stand, for instance. Now, them three days we had in Douglas the year after we got wed was like a second honeymoon. We used to just sit there every afternoon holding hands and listening to Mesmer the Mesmerist. Now, we couldn't have done that if we'd had our Irma there scraping her head off, could we? No, I suppose not. No. Now, if I was you, what I'd do next year is go somewhere foreign for your holidays. Well, not too foreign, say, um, say Jersey, like. If you was me, you'd shut up about it, but I don't suppose there's much chance of that this side of next Christmas, is there? <sighs> oh, heck, she's taking it bad. Aye. You don't know what to do for the best. Oh, I don't know, I reckon I do. Oh, why? Well, it's not what you'd expect. Or Ina Ilwyn Sharples, either. Neither of you, for that matter. Yes? Pardon? You've been stood there I don't know how long. What do you want to drink? No, thanks. Uh, we're just coming for a sit down. <laughs> Why don't you? The snug's through there. We're all right here, thanks very much. You're too early. She's not back yet. Oh. Look, can I get you anything like opera glasses, a pocket tape recorder? Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes? Hi. What do you want to drink? Uh, uh, how do you mean? She's not back yet. Oh? No, you can't just stand there. It's not nice. What's she going on about? Well, ignore her. Perhaps she'll go away. Oh. It's all right for you, isn't it? Is it? Well, you're not going to be banned forever from going to football matches when she gets back, are you? If she gets back. <laughs> gets cold standing about, doesn't it, Uncle Albert? Ah, gum. If it wasn't such a bad likeness, I should have thought I was at Madame Tussauds. <laughs> now we're all here, aren't we? Is there any deep significance in that remark, young woman? The usual, Mrs. Sharples. If you please. They say olive oil's good for it, don't they? For what? A crick in the neck. You'll be able to tell me, won't you, after I've lammed you with my handbag? Right. Ladies and gentlemen, here is a newsflash. We don't know yet whether my Auntie Annie is going to get hanged or get life imprisonment. We don't even know when she's coming home. But when we do, we'll let you know by setting the chimney alight. That is the news from ITN. Good and... I'll do a love for all, Mr. Walker. Well, we're not much further on, lad. What did they do to him? Has she been charged? It's being reported to the Chief Constable. It'll be up to him to decide. Uh, She's never been locked up, has she? Is she in the dungeons? You believe in the neighbourhood now, I suppose, will you? Well, I go if I know Annie Walker, she'll never dare show her face in here again. Ah, now, please carry on drinking, everyone. I would not like business to be affected. <laughs> Shows your pension book, you can come in on a prize. Oh, sorry. Right? I, uh, Great. I bought these round for Wally. Oh, well, he falls asleep when he reads. Well, I can look at the pictures. Oh, I'll pass them on when he gets up. He's sleeping now, is he? Every day, in every way, he sleeps a little bit longer. Still, I suppose I will when I'm his age, if I ever reach it, that is. You're coping all right, eh? After Dagenham Girl Pipers and Mrs. Charles Atlas, what's one granddad, more or less? Yeah, I see what you mean. How do you like it? As it comes, mm. then. Not, of course, that it's roses, roses all the way. No? You just tend to turn the place into an old folk shelter now and then. Yesterday, for instance, the only time I saw a fire and telly was through it window. Yeah, well, you know what they say, never volunteer. Of course I'm not binding. Comes to us all in the end, Yeah, it? that's true. They're different from us, aren't they? You know, really different. Oh, they live in a world of their own, that's for sure. Yeah, they you try, try and do things for them and they don't appreciate it. Oh, it's probably the wrong things. I mean, they've got a different set of values. They panic overnight, you know, like rain making a noise on dustbin. 
I think we may have a monkey if the house is falling down. <laughs> you know, Dennis, you've grown older this week. They're not even in the same room with you sometimes. You feel like phoning them up to try and get through to them. The only trouble is, even if you did, they wouldn't flame me well be able to hear you. Yeah. Uh, well, I suppose it's something me and Val have to get used to someday. I mean, Uncle Albert can't look after himself forever now, can he? <laughs> Hello, I thought it was me ma'am. She looks like that this time in the morning. Uh, morning, Mr. Oh, Turner. It's cold today. Yeah, and how are you feeling this fine morning? I'd be feeling a lot better if he hadn't awakened me coming in from work. Oh, once I'm disturbed, I can never get off again. Oh, this loss of sleep is a terrible thing. I must my pockets about it. <clears throat> See what you mean? I'd better get him some bacon on. He won't want it. He'll want porridge, unless I'd made him some. We are the champions, we are the champions. Thank you, Lucille. Uh, hello, Aunt Annie. How are you feeling this morning? Alive. Yeah. Would you like me to make you a nice cup of tea and let some drippy toast make you feel better? I would. My stomach wouldn't. Oh, I don't know what you're bothered about, honest. No, but you haven't been in the public pillory. Well, I'm sure you've heard the last of it. I'm sure of it. Violence was the word used on the charge sheet. Was it? The last time I raised my finger in anger was when a boy I knew pulled one of my pigtails. I was 12 at the time. Would you like an aspirin? But that is the word that has gone down in the record for posterity. Violence. Jack, love. Yes, love. When you tell a joke, it isn't very funny. Hey. When you sing one, it's even worse. I wasn't singing, I was humming. You were getting at me. Hey, I wasn't. Oh, no. yes, you were. And I'll tell you both something else. I wish I'd never heard of Manchester City. Now look what you've done. What did I do? Goodbye, Main Road, L.O. Eamon, flipping Andrews. Eamon Andrews? Well, she'll never let me go to another football match, will she? So every Saturday it'll be all in wrestling, stock car racing from... Doncaster flipping baths. Right, was there anything else? A packet of soap powder. Haven't you finished washing yet? I haven't started yet. Honestly, our house has been like Victoria Station this morning. Oh, why? The kids have spent the entire morning knocking lumps out of each other. Uncle Albert was in looking for his braces, and Wally Tanner was in looking for Uncle Albert. The Jungle Telegraph said you had another visitor. Who said that? Oh, us small shopkeepers are not allowed to reveal our sources of information, but she watches through the mission hall curtains. Oh. oh, it's Mrs. Potter from Kitchener Street. She wants Ken to coach her son in the evenings for his GCE. Will he coach me? Well, will you pay him? Well, David would anything to get shut of it. <coughs> oh, uh, hello. Ta -da. Say, you're a top this morning, aren't you? I know, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, well, I'm just, uh, j just off love for a couple of hours. Where? Um, yeah, out. Out where? Um, in town. Town? Town. <laughs> what for? Uh, well, there's, um, a, a couple of things I've got to do. Like what, for So, instance? um, I'll see you about tea time. I know, but what have you got I, to if do? If not before. <laughs> well? I see uh, Christmas falls on Christmas Day this year and uh, Boxing Day the day after. Do you uh, think he's got another woman? Oh, he's welcome, Val. It's funny, though, isn't it? Not at all. Well, you've a right to know where David's going on a Monday morning, all dressed up like a dog's dinner. He can please himself, can't he? It's a free country. Oh, if you say so. I do. I mean, it doesn't worry me. Hey, Val, where's our David going on a Monday all dressed up like a dog's dinner? <laughs> Tell me. What are you planning to live when she comes out of jail? A tent on Rivington Pike? Well, that's my bit of present, Mr. Shoffles. You see me? Uh, oh, please, Mr. Oh. Walker. Oh, I think she's taking it all far too serious, Miss Do you think so? Oh, wow. this stands to sense. I mean, look, what's the chief constable going to think when he sees Mrs. Walker on one side and two tearaways on the other? Oh, yeah, but you're forgetting one thing there, aren't you? Am I? Yeah, the broken window. I mean, Mrs. Walker did do that, didn't she? That's admitted. And it's an offence, is that, you know, defacing public property. Mind you, I'm on her side, naturally. Naturally. Well, then. Jack? You've uh, been down to the station, then? Aye. Aye. Is she in? Uh, don't you think it would be better if you were to tell me first? I think I'd prefer to tell her direct, Jack, if you don't mind. All right. Please yourself. Hang on, I'll go and get her. What are we going to do? 
I hope they won't, of course, but uh, are they going to persecute her? I mean, not that I hope they do, because I hope they don't. Then. Annie. Wouldn't it perhaps be more seemly if we discuss this somewhere less public? Sometimes I think it's better to have your friends around you in times like this, you know. Yes, that's what I meant. However, continue. Well, you know this mate I've got down to the police station? Yes. Well, I've decided to pump him, is he? You know, I told you that. Yes. About you? Yes. So I'll put it to him, whether the chief constable has made up his mind or not. Quiet. Well, he has. I see. And this is what he says. In view of the offence and the type of offence that this is, football rowdiness, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah. You won't hear another flipping word about it. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Oh, I'll second that. Congratulations. First congratulations. Didn't that deserve a pint? It, it does indeed. Yes, indeed. Just goes to show you, doesn't it? What's that? Well, you happening? never can tell. After all they've said about finding new measures for putting down hooliganism at football matches. Oh, not that I mean you, of course, Mrs. Walker. No. Now, there is one thing, though, Annie. Is there? You'll have to pay for the wind. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> That'll be your Christmas box, I think. <laughs> now, that's where it is, you see, defacing public property. Hey, you know what this means, don't you, Mrs. Walker? What's that, Jerry? Well, now that you're not going to cling, you'll be able to come with us again on Saturday. Hmm. Well, of Well, football match, <laughs> United. I would like to make one thing clear, here and now. Last Saturday's match was my first and last visit to a football game. Are you sure you won't sit down, love? No, oh, thanks. <coughs> Stanley makes you grow, doesn't it, John? I'm sorry Mr. Barlow's not home yet. It's all right. John's taking his O-levels, Irma. Oh. Again. Pardon? I failed him once. Well, I bet you pass next time. Dead easy. I wish I had a sap for mine. I mean, I could have been the chairman of ICI by now. My son, Sir John. Do you like school? It's all right. What do you like doing the best? No, I don't know. Oh, would you like to have a look at the paper? It's a bit wet, the paper boy always leaves it. No, thanks. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Ken, this is uh, Mrs. Potter's son. Yes, that's right. It's John, isn't it? Um, sorry I'm a bit late. I got held up at school. Yeah, well, um... English and history, isn't it? Don't know. Oh, that's what your mother said. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, we'll uh, go in the front room and have a chat, OK? This way. I'll see you later, love. And uh, a cup of tea would be fairly stupendous. Can't shut him up once he gets going, can you? Mind you, do you know when I was his age, I never stopped talking. I don't know. Come to think of There's it. There's an unhappy little lad, if ever I saw one. Mm, very. Still, there's a lot around, isn't there? Mm, too many. Come in. Mr. Barlow? Uh, yes. Mr. David Barlow? Yes, that's right. Won't you sit down? Uh, here? Yes. Would you like to take your coat off? Uh, no, I don't. Yes, I will. <clears throat> right. We'll start then, shall we? Uh, yes, right. Can I ask you one question right away, Mr. Barney? Ah, uh, what's that? Well, don't you think you're a little young to be thinking about adoption? <laughs> 